So you're thinking about moving here to the Gem City here in Dayton, Ohio, and you're wondering if Oakwood is going to be the place for you to move. And you're probably wondering, well, what's the cost of living here? Well, my team and I came up with the key points that you need to know about the cost of living here in Oakwood. And you'll want to stick around to the very end because what we're going to do is tell you what the overall cost of living is for this area in comparison to the rest of the United States. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in Dayton, Ohio. If this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything about Dayton, this is the place to be. So make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so that you're notified every single time that we have a new video coming out. Honestly, we get tons and tons of emails, phone calls, texts about people relocating here and we absolutely love it. So if you're thinking about relocating here again make sure to call text email send us a little old paper airplane whatever you need to do to get a hold of us we've got your back when moving here to Dayton Ohio So let's get into it. What are we talking about today? We're talking about Oakwood. Well, if you don't know much about Oakwood, it's more of the affluent areas around the Dayton suburb area. It's only a short trip from downtown Dayton, and it's actually a small community, but as you go through it, you'll notice that it just, it just feels really good, very clean. There's a lot of updated places everywhere. It's just, just a great place to be, probably where most of the most affluent people would like to stay. So let's talk about housing. So housing, you're going to see anywhere from houses built as far back as like the 1940s or even later than that into new builds. They're all in really good shape. People take a lot and a lot of care, even if they rent these properties to take care and make sure that they look really good. So what is the average rate or purchase price that you're going to be looking at right now? Well, at the date of this video in 2020, the average was around $239,600. Now, if you're looking just to rent in this area, your average rent's going to be around $1,172. But depending on the size of the house, it could be all the way up to $1,700. Just know that if you are looking to rent or purchase, the 80% of people that live in this area actually own their own homes. And that's one heck of an investment. All right, let's talk about jobs. Well, the jobs market in that area is actually rated in A, which is super cool. You're going to notice that a lot of people that live there are lots of executives, managers, mostly maybe even business owners. They typically work in the medical field or military, military contractors because Wright-Patterson Air Force Base is not too far away. So those will be the neighbors that uh, you'll be interacting with in there. So let's talk about what the average costs are compared to the rest of the United States. And as we do this, when we talk about cost of living, we always need to compare it to something. So uh, we have an index that, that goes ahead and says, hey, this is the average across the continental United States. And then we rank different areas based off of that index. Now, that is usually 100%. So everything I'm giving you as far as the index is concerned is of 100%. Make sense? All right, stick with me. First is we have groceries. Now, the grocery stores that you're typically going to see here is we have Meyer and we have Kroger. So those are the big, uh, big supermarkets that you're gonna have. And of course, we have other ones as too, Walmarts, things of that nature. However, for your groceries compared to the 100%, which we have for the national average, it's actually sitting around 98.6. So very, very close to the average, just a little bit less. So you'd be saving some money there. As far as healthcare is concerned, it is actually only 84.9% of the national average, which is great. There's actually a lot of places if you're looking to get into healthcare or use that. There's lots of urgent care centers. There's multiple hospitals around the area. And if you're looking to get a little education in the medical field, there's actually a bunches of places to do that as well. 
All right, let's talk about utilities. Now, utilities are going to be a little bit higher. It's at 106.9%, so it's above the national average. Also know that in this area, you do have to heat and cool. Um, <laughs> Not necessarily cool in some of these older houses if you get outside of the Oakwood area, but most of them have been renovated to have a heating and cooling element in your HVAC system. So uh, you're going to be looking at a little bit more of a pricier point as far as those are concerned. Now that also doesn't take into account whether you're using gas or strictly electric, but again, this is just an average. Transportation is a 79% of that 100%, so it is cheaper. So your uh, public transportation, if that's something that you want to use, or gas prices, things of that nature, uh, are a little bit lower in that area. And the other part that we have is kind of the miscellaneous category. Now, again, I had mentioned before, this is one of the more affluent communities. So when you're purchasing clothing, restaurants, going out for repairs, doing entertainment, things of that nature, there's going to be a little bit more uh, pricey just based on the area and the demand. Uh, so we're going to be looking at out of 100, it's actually 103.2. So it's a little bit higher, but not all that much uh, to be able to pay to be part of the environment, the neighborhoods, the schools, which are top rated in the area. Uh, so just keep that in mind. What's this overall compared to the national average? Well, compared to the national average, we are 101.3% uh, here in Oakwood over the 100% national average. So just a little bit over the top. Uh, that's not bad compared to some of the other cities and going into the top suburbs that you're right there at the national average. Housing and affordability here in Dayton is just awesome. So if you want to be part of the top echelon and live in that community, then paying just a little bit more than the national average, well, this might be the one for you. So that's all we have for the cost of living. If you live in Oakwood or know some things that you really, really liked about it, make sure to leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions about this area, again, just leave them in the comments below. Send us a message. We'll be happy to respond to that and get you the information you're looking for. And of course, if you're looking to move to Oakwood or any of the surrounding areas, go ahead and uh, shoot us a message, give us a call. We're more than happy to help you out or at least, at the very least, get you the information that you're looking for. So again, I'm Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here at eXp Realty here in Dayton, and we'll see you in our next video. Take care.